Well, ah, oh, Marinja Cookie, and I wanted to show you something. Today, I want to talk to you about weapons. What weapon you like to pick? When, if, or when you need a good weapon in a situation for hunting or surviving or defending yourself. We've got so many weapons that we could choose from as humans and weapons that we can make from scratch if we need them. We can make spears, we can make juggers, we can make fish juggers, we can make hooks, we can make things to, to capture food for us. We can make traps. We have traps. We have other type of weapons. We have bows. We have knives. We have stone. We can name all kinds of stuff all day. But I want to show you my arsenal of weapons that I might use if I need to use them. Come on. on. Let me show you my arsenal. All right, there's my arsenal. I recommend if you have a small child in your life, 10 years old, give him a good bow, old recurve, old long bow, and teach him safety and how to string the bow, how to keep the bow good. Remember, right? Let's see, it's been a long time since I bowed up a, a bow. I usually put the uh, tip on my edge of my toe, put my legs through, like I said it's been a while. This is a recurve. It can kill people, it can kill your food for you. No. You can put all kinds of stuff on here. That's what you call a blunt shot. You can kill small game with this. We'll see how well I can do it. You know, it's been a long time since I shot a bow. But, I want to see if I hit that bucket in that ring. Are you ready? This is the first time I shot a bow for about five years. And I miss. Ah, oh, crap. And this is a judo point. The judo point is good for small game. Also, you will never lose your, your arrow because this catches the grass. I want to try one more time. Like I said, it's been a long time since I shot a bow. I might hit my car. Yeah. Well, I hit a bucket, but not the bucket I want to hit. So, the reason why, my shoulder is killing me now because I shot this bow. Let me go get those arrows. Well, at least my, uh, grouping is in a good area but they got different types of arrows you can get come see all right you can get a fishing arrow hey come up here you can get a fishing arrow to hunt uh to, to go for fishing one way to catch food if you really want to, you can use it to, to go deer hunting, but I uh, would not recommend. But if you have the only arrow and some more blunts, and look at this homemade quiver. It's made us uh, bark and thread it with the thread. All right, we'll put this up. Never how to string. I usually take my toe and place it on my shoe so it won't ruin the edge. Put your leg through, bend it, oh, wait, and unhook it. 
like I said, it's been a while since I shot a bow. Alright. You can get a pistol. You could be a pellet gun. It could be a real gun. You can hunt food with. Not recommend small game, but big game. A good pistol. Now, let's say you're in a spot where it's re you got to be real quiet. You don't want to know, let no one know where you're at. So what you get is a pellet gun. These items are good to have because you never know when you need to be stealthy and kill your food. This thing, punch, a big punch, I can go through a car with this thing. Uh, let's take a shot at this car here. It's an old truck, but I want to shoot right underneath the, the headlamps. I want to back up some more. See those little dots down there? I'm going to tag one real quick and hope it don't ricochet. It's been a while since I even shot a pellet gun. Let's see what happens. Probably missed. But you heard that pellet gun. It just barely made a noise. And... Ah, almost hit it. Let's try one more time. Let's see if I can shoot that stick way back there. I got another camera out there. It's on a stick. Like I said, a pellet gun is good to have. It's real quiet. You heard how quiet that thing is? I kill small game with this baby. It's just a pellet gun. You can buy this at the, uh, I'm not recommend any Walmart brand. But when you do go buy, you can go to the pawn shop. You might get a better brand. It's still a pretty strong gun. I can kill a human being with this if need to be. If I have to be in a situation where I have to defend myself, I can use this weapon. I hate or don't want to be into that situation where I have to kill a human being. But this is good defense, good hunting, quiet and self. I just have to work on the, 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 the crosshairs. But it's pretty strong. I probably put a hole in that glass, but I might need that glass one day. All right, well, let's we'll shoot something real quick. Real close. Mm. I missed the whole damn thing. But you can put, you can take a shotgun shell. Break the shotgun shell and get the pellets out. Put the pellets in here with the with a normal pellet. Close it up. You have an automatic shotgun to shoot small birds. Recommend get one of these if you need to be in a survival mode and defensive mode. This is a good weapon for both. I hate using the word hit or killing somebody, but this is a good defense weapon. It's quiet, stealthy. Uh, you barely hear it. And then that's it. That's all you hear. All right, let's go on. I have another pellet gun with no scope. Does the same thing. Cock it open. Put your pellet in. This one has a thousand per second. This one also can hurt and kill a human being. It, this is the 177 caliber. It's a smaller pellet, but this is also good for home defense. If you have to use it as a tool to survive with hunting, it's a little louder too, but more devastated. Checking different types of pellets and using different type of pellets. This is a 177 caliber. It's a smaller pellet. Moving on. A 
another defense uh, thing will be the machete or some type of big knife you like to use. Or you could tie this to a stick and make a spear. <coughs> you can hunt with this and you can also defend yourself. Also with the machete. So you have an option to defend yourself or use it to hunt. Except for the machete. I can't see anybody walking up to a deer. Unless you Rambo or something. Now, you can make snares with rope to defeat, feed your family if you're into a survival mode. You can make traps. There's deadfall traps, bear, uh, bear, bear traps, uh, snare traps. You can use rope, but not good for defense unless you're tying your house up or something or putting a string at about neck high when somebody runs through your yard at night. You can probably take them down. Now, it's a little broken because we use it a lot. This is a, just a, uh, a, god damn it. I forgot the name of it. To Bob, I forgot the name. But this is a ninja wooden sword, or sorry, samurai, got a curve to it. This is good for defense. If you need to defend your house, you have a good heavy duty sword. You can get a, uh, a real sword too. Now, the comma. Very defensive weapon. Cannot hunt with it, but it would be a good for defense. This is made out of wood. You can get the real ones with the blades and really main and hurt. You probably still can kill somebody with this. But, good defense. You can go underneath their legs, pull, and they fall down. You can also use the opposite side for a good battering ram. I keep this by my door, so it's this other weapon. Basically, it's like a drum stick, but I use it as a defense weapon. Back when the natives had weapons, this is what kind of weapon they kind of had. Kind of, not this weapon, but they kind of had balls of wood and sticks to kill and maim the other tribes. So they use this type of weapon. And the staff. I found this pretty one. I it was in the woods, so I just cut it and cut it and I kept it. I've been having this for a while. It's a good staff. I don't know. Yeah, it's still strong. So I keep this by my door on the outside. Just in case such and such. And I want to show you one more thing. The last weapon you can use 30 out of 6 or big weapons. And your last defense that you can use is the slingshot. The slingshot is a badass. You can hurt, really hurt, hurt and wound people with a slingshot and kill. Fairly deadly. Then, if you want to go small game hunting, I remember when I used to be a kid, I used to use the bow and arrow with the slingshot. Let's see how well I let's see how well I can hit the, the bucket now. Using the slingshot. Let's see if I can hit that bucket out there. Fail! But hey, at least tried. A little more practice if I need to. I will be able to be like I used to be really good when I was a little kid. I used to have this equipment when I was a kid. Now the last. This is the weapon I choose for all my hunting. I always do small game. I never did big game. And I'm going to show you why. This is a 22 single shot rifle. It's old as hell. I want to show you this little bitty thing could take down small game and be defensive 
if need to be but this I want you to hear how loud this thing is compared to the long shell that's the short and this is the long and that's a stinger too it got a hollow point on it all right I'm gonna shoot that stick back there let's see how well I can shoot are you ready You heard that? Barely even a noise. That sounded like a pellet gun. Now, the long. Now, I want to let you know, when you shoot down towards the dirt, it makes a buffle noise. When you shoot upward, it makes a loud sound. So, make sure if you're in an area that you need to be quiet, make sure you only use one shot. One shot can almost tell you where you're at. All right, let's see how well I can shoot the stick back there there we go you heard the difference I hope you enjoy this short video of my weapons of choice but if I had to choose any weapon out all of those would be the 22 single shot rifle Uh, the reason why I killed so many small game with this rifle, if I had marks on it, you'll never, you won't be able to see the handle because it will have so many marks in it. But I hope you enjoy what weapon would I choose if in a survival mode or uh, defense mode. It would be the 22 single shot long rifle. I can still do damage with this big thing. I don't need a big monster 30 odd six. I can still kill deer with this thing. I can kill small game things with this thing. But I can't go fishing with it, but hey, you never know. You probably can shoot a fish. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoyed my weapon of choice.